Hi, it's Mark from TrainingSpark here with another quick video for anyone who uses LearnDash. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can drip your LearnDash lessons to members of a group. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably aware that LearnDash has a great feature called groups. And what this does is it allows you to group together learners within your platform and manage their access to courses as a collective rather than individually. So say you are enrolling 10, 20, 100 people onto a set of courses, you, what you could do is put them all into a group and give the group access to the courses rather than going into each individual and managing them all separately and giving each individual access to the courses. And on top of this, there are features that allow you to have group leaders that can see potentially some reports of, of members within certain groups. And we find this really beneficial for anyone perhaps who delivers their training B2B or into organizations and would expect groups of learners to go through their courses. So what do we mean by dripping lessons? Well, I'm on a LearnDash course here and what dripping means is essentially unlocking the content over time. So you might have a course like this, where, but you don't want people to just race through and go through one lesson after the other. What you might want to say is that this lesson gets unlocked on day one this one gets unlocked on day two and so on. And that just helps to control the flow of learning happening on your, your platform. And LearnDash lets you unlock like this. So it does have drip feeding functionality within it, but these only apply to anyone who enrolls individually. So they're based on the learner's enrollment date. So if I was to go to a, a lesson here, so I'm on a, a LearnDash lesson. There is a section here called Lesson Access Settings. And it says that you can have a lesson release schedule based on the day the person enrolls or X days after they enroll or on a specific date. And this is great, but the problem is this wouldn't really work for a, a group where you want them all to be accessing at the same time because all of these would be based on individual access times. So they are based on when, when individuals first access the course. So there's no real sense of, of a group going through it. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can install a plugin that will give you more control over this for, on a group by group basis. So you can manage whole groups access to certain courses and make sure that they all follow the same workflow as they go through the course. And to do this, we're going to use one of our plugins here called Cohort Manager. Now we'll put a link to this in the description. This is a, a, a premium plugin, but what this does among other things is allow you to create groups of learners that you manage their access to courses as one. And it shows, it allows you to unlock lessons and send emails to learners and things like that. So I'm going to show you that now. If I go back to the WordPress dashboard here. I'm going to go to plugins and install Cohort Manager. And to do this, we go to the plugins page, choose add new. And then when you buy this plugin, you will be sent a, a link to download it and a license code. So what we'll do is choose upload plugin, browse for it on your computer, choose it, and then just click install now and then it'll install like that nice and quickly. And then we activate the plugin. And once that's activated, it'll ask us for a license code and we can just pop one in here and activate it. And once that's activated, we'll come to this page here. So what you'll find is that Cohort Manager is now in your left-hand menu here, and it allows you to create these cohort workflows. So I'm going to start here by clicking on Create Your First Workflow to create my workflow for this uh, cohort of learners here. And what I'm going to do, the first option is to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this Demo Workflow. This name here is mainly for your own reference and isn't ever shown to the learners. 
And this is where we choose the group of learners. So these are learn dash groups. And if you had a, a list of learn dash groups, they would appear here. But I have a group here called home tech learners. And this is um, what this person is actually registered into. So if you remember in this separate tab here, what I've got is a learner who's registered onto that home tech group and has been given access to this healthy eating for healthy life course. So if I switch back to these options here, what I would do here is choose the group and also the course that I want to give them um, controlled access to. And I'm going to choose healthy eating for healthy life here within this option. And we can also choose whether we want to drip or carry out these interactions on the course on specific dates or a specific number of days from when the course starts. And if I was to choose X days from course start here, I can pick a specific date here um, within this list and um, you know, maybe April 7th, for example, and I can say what time of day this goes out. So maybe 12 o'clock. And I'll just click create workflow here. So what this is saying is that this group of learners would start this course on the 7th of April at 12 o'clock. And from that point, we can now decide what lessons get unlocked when. I'm going to firstly set this workflow to active and I'm going to click add first in, your first interaction. And what we want to do as part of this video is unlock lessons, but there are other things we can do as part of this plugin, such as sending emails to particular types of, of user. What we can do is say maybe five days after the course start, we unlock the first lesson, ketogenic diet for weight loss, and then we click update. Then we've done another one, another unlock lesson. Seven days after, we unlock video call one. And you can see it's really easy to create this workflow. 10 days after, we unlock drinking fluids for a healthy day. And then lastly, we'll say 15 days after, we unlock video call two. So just like that, I've created a workflow for this group and we can see that after a specific number of days after the course starts, we unlock certain lessons. And if I was to switch back to the view as this learner now in this different tab, I'll refresh it and scroll down. And we can see that the lessons unlock on those specific dates. So 12th of April, 17th of April, and it's the time that we specified, so 12 o'clock. So this is what allows us to control the access to the whole group. So anyone within this home tech group would see exactly the same thing, regardless of when they were added to the group. So they would see that the lessons get unlocked at this specific time. So what we've done there is created a workflow and we are dripping lessons to members of the group all at the same time so that they all work through the course together and it would help you if you're perhaps creating a, a community or a social aspect to your course delivery because they could have zoom calls or meetings in between these these lessons being released perhaps so we hope you find this useful and as i say this plugin does have a number of other features so um, we'll put a link to it in the description and um, it's definitely worth a look and if you like this video, uh, please do give it a like and subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel for uh, more videos of this kind. Thank you.